so warm-ups. Why do we do warm-ups? Lots of reasons why we do warm-ups. Um, one is just to get a sense of everyone in the room feeling the space, being an, as a group, as an ensemble, being together, uh, freeing their voices so we, uh, and freeing their, their bodies. So we do something physical, then we do some simple vocal exercises which just give you the sense of singing but not about singing first of all. So there'll be speaking, chanting, little ch, -ch exercises, swooping sounds, and then, then other exercises that just use different vocal colours. So we might use the Wicked Witch, or the, or the, little, the little child in the playground, or the, the very good child, or the very sad child, or Father Christmas. So lots of different types of voices, just to play with the voice really. So we're playing with the voice, we're giving ourselves a bit of physicality and then lots of rhythmic work as well. So you get in that sense of being in a group, using rhythm with claps, with little ba 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 da, call and response, all of those things are just getting you ready for the, for the singing. <laughs> much more adventurous with our repertoire. We can go to South Africa and we can go to Bulgaria and we can look at pop music and we can do much more repertoire that just uses a much more spoken type of voice, a chanty type of voice. Not so much of the, the old repertoire we used to have that really did exclude a lot of singers. And I think that's the thing, we're looking for repertoire that is inclusive. So let's go! Way in the about quite a lot within a rehearsal. So I might only spend 10, 15 minutes on a piece before I then move on to another piece. I might just teach the chorus of one song and then go back to something we know and then maybe sing, learn just a, a verse of a different song. So mixing it up, I think that's the thing of, of keeping it interesting and I think only once ever have I done one song for a whole two hours and um, that was only on a very, very special occasion and a lot of people did find it very difficult but I think it is that thing of mixing up, mixing up songs you know with songs you don't know, introducing little sections of song, it doesn't have to be the beginning of the song, you might start at the end of a song and um, mixing styles of things within a, within a rehearsal as well because it's about keeping it interesting and keeping it light and keeping it fun as well. So, a couple of things about vocal health. Uh, one is, I would say, the worst thing for your voice is shouting. It's not actually singing at all. The other one is probably singing out of your range, singing too loud out of your range. Um, and quite often you may have to do that as a choral director, say you're singing the tenor part and the bass and the soprano and the alto. And just be aware of not singing too loud, of just taking the voice back, singing quieter, not singing all the time as well. S singing the part, listening to the choir, not feeling that you always have to be singing all the way through a session. Make sure you're drinking enough water and also all the things that we know that are not good for our health, that, that dehydrators like coffee and beer. And uh, so just be, being aware of dietary things as well, I think, is important. So in, what, we have, what we're doing as, as choir leaders is we are embracing every voice that comes through into our choir. And one of the things about having a community choir is that we are having singers who are very experienced singing with people who are not so experienced. And I would say to anyone, rather than go, go have some singing lessons, who, people who are feeling inexperienced, I would say go and join a choir. Go and join a community choir, a choir that's open for everybody, because that, that is where you will learn your skill, that is where you will learn your pitching, that is where you will learn your rhythm, because you are surrounded by other people who are singing well. And as a choir leader, you have to embrace the inexperienced singer 
and the experienced singer. They all have to have a place in your group. They say,